Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. We're going to start a whole series now of customers' photographs that have been sent to us. You fill out the room form and, and we always ask you to include photos of the room. Well, we take some of those photos and we use them as teaching tools. And of course, we're not telling anybody whose room it is or your name or anything like that. We're not violating any privacy issues for you. But we're going to use the room as a teaching method because what we find is when people see a photograph of somebody else's setup, they can kind of compare and contrast that to their room. It makes understanding, comprehension and understanding in this complicated world of physics, acoustics that we work in, a lot easier. And you know me, I'm always trying to make things, the complicated things, simple for everybody. You know, sometimes I succeed, sometimes I don't. But that's really my underlining goal here. So. Let's take this picture. So we have a two-channel setup. And what's the first thing that you notice behind the speakers? Doesn't matter if it's long wall or short wall. We got windows, glass. Worst the thing we can have. Well, there's blinds over it, but they don't help. And they're usually plastic, which is another bad surface material to have. Then you look at the speakers and we got them kind of tucked in to a little alcove area there, okay? Desk and chairs to the left and the right, all the things that you don't want. Because remember, this area right here is sacred ground. That's what, how my studio got its name. This is what we call free space. You can't have any objects along the walls here because our goal is to manage these reflections from the side walls. And there's three sets of them, primary, secondary, and tertiary. We've done many videos on it. But if you have objects here, you, inter you change the distance. You might have, like in this picture, we have a desk, I don't know what it is, equipment uh, thing, and then we have a big couch over here. So it changes the dimensions, it changes the distances. It changes the distance as the energy travels. And that's called spurious reflections. So we might have a reflection that hits a sofa on this wall, and a reflection that hits a desk on this wall, changes the whole time domain of the reflection. That's distortion. And the higher the, your resolution in your room is, the more that distortion becomes audible. So you got to be careful about not, you know, shooting yourself in the foot or adding too much uh, to it. So keep this room in mind. These are good examples of things that you don't want to do and absolutely no glass in the room. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.